Fort Stedman fun. The rebels are coming. The rebels are coming. A frightening Union picket brought the first warning of the onslaught on Fort Stedman. Drowsy Union cannoneers and infantrymen had barely reached their post before the Confederate storming party swarmed into Battery 10, then the fort itself. Thousands of Confederates plunged into the shattered Union line and pushed south to your left toward Fort Haskell, north toward Battery 9, and east toward the Union rear behind you. But Union artillery from nearby batteries wrapped the Confederates in a deadly fire. Fresh Union infantry soon arrived. About 8 o'clock I saw the Federals coming. The whole field was blue with them. I think the columns must have been 20 deep. With our Whitworth guns, we began to pick off a few prominent individuals, but we could not kill the whole army. And presently, we had to retreat to the captured works, which we did, contesting every foot of ground. The blue columns followed. Then, with hundreds of Confederates packed in and around Fort Stedman, the Federals attacked. This painting shows the scene around Fort Stedman at the moment of the Union counterattack. The Confederates huddled in the fort, waiting for the worst. Few of the Confederates would escape. 